Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. These videos where I teach you how to draw me like one of your French girls. Be afraid. Be very afraid. But moving on with the hashets RMS Titanic, the ship, the legend. We are on stage 37. So first, let's take a quick look through the magazine, see what's inside. The Belle Epoque in Central Europe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word right. I think I am anyway. The Art Nouveau style that flourished in Europe between about 1890 and 1914 was embraced in Italy as Style Liberté. Oh, it's so stylish. It's so freaking stylish. Oh, look how stylish that is. That is a stylish building. So stylish. Oh, more stylish buildings. Beautifully stylish buildings. <laughs> what is this? The official poster that Leopoldo Meltikovitz designed for the Milan International Exhibition of 1906. Isn't that lovely? Oh, lovely. And of course, Titanic, the blockbuster. Talking about the 1997 Titanic by James Cameron. There you have the poster. Wonderful movie. One of my favorite movies. And, of course, we have the parts, the instruciones, all that good stuff. So there you have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it. Because there's always ain't nothing to it. But to what? Say it with me. But to do it. That's right. Now, before we do it, if you remember in uh, the previous episode, um, I put the engines here on the base, and I got this side. This side works just fine. You can see I spin around and everything moves nice and smoothly, as it should, but this side was just totally like seized up. It did not want to move at all. Um, so what I ended up doing, I may have to do it a little bit more, but uh, basically this this gear here was, was basically just butting right up against this and it was not allowing it to turn. Um, I ended up just taking the whole engine off and I ended up just shaving this part down, this part with the, uh, with the cog. I ended up just shaving it down and that did help and it can, you can see I can spin it and now it will move. It still seems like it's getting a little caught up somewhere so I may have to do a little bit more shaving just to make sure everything works nice and smooth, but yeah, a little bit more adjustment, but that's uh, the process for getting that to work better. Alrighty, let's open this up. Take out our parts. We got screws. They just fell right out. They couldn't wait to be a part of this. We have tissue paper. Oh, lots of tissue paper. Ooh. This piece right here. Tissue paper. We have this right here, which is Use a little motor and tissue paper. We have another piece of thing and tissue paper. And one more bit. We have, what is this? Oh, the suspense is killing me. Oh, we have a metal rod. There we go. And tissue paper. Okay. That wasn't the most satisfying one, but oh well. Empty box. Get out of my life. Alrighty. Put all this off to the side and let's open up our instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones. Hi! Alright, here we go. So, what are we doing in this stage? We are doing motor for the transmission. Cool, 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 cool. So, for that, we will need our, uh, our gearbox that we started assembling in a previous stage. So what we're doing here is we're going to be using the metal rod because they want this in a specific orientation. So they want us to use this to get it in that specific orientation. I assume it looks like it's about there. We'll see if that works out. Then we have the motor with lots of wire, lots of wire, so much wire. So how will this be fitting? Who knows, who knows? No one, no one really knows. It looks the same on both sides. Oh, okay, they want the red wire. Okay, I see. They want the red wire on this side, the black on this side. Gotcha. So now they want that lined up so it's not lined up. Here, we actually need to adjust this because it's actually lined up on this side like that. That's how it is. So, 
if we're lucky, everything should just drop right in. Boom, and it did. It just dropped right in. There we go. So we have that nice and aligned. Cool, cool. So what are we doing now? Once we have done that, we definitely need to unravel this because now we need to feed this wire through stuff. Ooh, that's a long wire. Jeez, that's a really long wire. It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, so now we need... Uh, Looks like this piece right here. So now this is... This is where my tongue stops working, is what this is. The wire is going to get fed through here. So we just pull this through. Pull, pull, pull it through. Come on. Come on, wire. Work with me, wire. Okay. 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 And... Okay. So it looks like that's just going to sit right over this, like that. Hopefully we have everything sitting right, and that is a very snug fit. That is extremely snug. I guess they really don't want that moving. Okay. They really want to make sure that that's not moving anywhere, because that is snug. Okay. So it looks like we got all that in place. Okay, so now this is going to get some AP screws. Four, to be precise. One, two, three, and four. Thank you, thank you. And now we shall secure. As always, we'll just get the party started. We will not tighten anything until all the screws are in place, because that is just good practice. Number three. And number four. There we go. And now... Whiskey! Oh, more screwing. So how's everybody doing? How is everybody feeling? As always, hope everyone's doing well, everyone's staying safe. What am I doing? More screwing. More screwing around with my Titanic. But I am enjoying it. I am enjoying every bit of the screwing. Who doesn't enjoy a good screwing? I know I do. Alrighty. Okay. Last one. Nice and then snuggened. Okay. So that is complete. And we have that looking like that. Wonderful. Marvelous. Fabulous. So what's happening now is we are bringing in this piece. And it looks like this is sitting uh, thusly. So now they want the wire to get fed through here. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 and okay, and this is just going to sit right here, there are posts for it, so there we go, it just drops right in there like that, and now this will take four more AP screws, open up, did I tell you you could close bag, I didn't tell you you could close bag, how dare you? bag. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your screwing service. I appreciate you all. Okay. So again, we will affix this with the four screws, and as always, we'll just get them started before we tighten, because again, what? Good practice. Just good practice. Okay. Alrighty, and the uh, last one. And now we can end snuggin. There we go. Number one, snuggin. Number two, end snuggin. Number three, end snuggin. And last but not least, you are what? End snuggin. Okay, there we go. All in snuggin. Wonderful, marvelous, fabulous. Lovely. Look at that. Has a housing now and everything. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so now 
What are we doing? We are now... Um, take the shaft, fit the D-shaped end of the shaft into the center of the cog. Push shaft firmly into the cog. I will push this shaft firmly. I will push it so firmly, it won't know what hit it. Uh, we, <laughs> Look, sometimes it happens, it just happens, okay. Push that, okay. Well, it doesn't matter, it does actually stay in place, so it doesn't matter how firmly you push it, it doesn't, it still just, it pops out pretty easily. So it's not, pushing it firmly doesn't really matter, it, anyway. Let me stop, I mean, this is just getting wrong on so many levels, okay. So there we go, we have the shaft pushed firmly into the cog, there we go. Wonderful, not not awkward or inappropriate in any way whatsoever. It's a shaft in a cog, in an engine, in a motor, you know, that's what we're talking about here, right? 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 I think, anyway. There we go. Um, that is it, and uh, yeah, that that is it. That is it for the stage of the build. That is all we are doing. We just put a little bit of housing in there, put the motor in. There we go. Now we've got some cable here. I'm gonna put, I'll just put a little uh, a little twist tie on that. Just because I don't like bending up, you know, I don't like doing this and just, you know, bending up wires unnecessarily. So I'll just put a little twist tie around all that just to keep it from, uh, you know, flopping around all over the place. But there you go. That is all we have done in this stage of the build. It is done. It is complete. It was not much, but hey, as always, progress is progress. And I am a fan of progress. So... There you go, as always. If you would like to sign up for your own Titanic kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out at your leisure. And you can watch this lovely ship of dreams take shape before your very eyes. So, there you go, as always. I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face.